Hi guys, this is Modofan and you are watching the final part of my A10C Thunderbolt build. In this video you will see me brushing teeth, landing UFO and adding Christmas tree decorations. Ok, this is where I start. A clear coat to prepare the model for decals. In the meantime I work on some smaller elements like the gun. It looks ok out of the box, but with a little effort it can look better. Adding brown wash to the armament makes details pop. I use a CA glue to join already painted elements. The resin pilot seat was hand painted and now gets some wash as well. Ok, the clear coat is dry, so I start with decals. In this kit, decals look very sharp. I use my corset to place them on the model. Nose decals are the most challenging, as the decal shape and the curved surface make the application tricky. Microsole helps to soften the decal and melt it inside the panel lines and around the nose. A small upgrade to the main landing gear I make from an old HDMI wire. I selected white copper wire and removed the isolation from it. I leave just a small narrow piece so I can use it to place the wire on the landing gear. Based on the reference photos, I used Tamiya elastic tape for curves to simulate the band that holds all wires. And the same thing with self-adhesive aluminum foil above the wheel. Landing gear assembly is quite straightforward and after all it's put in place it's time to check if I added enough nose weight. Yep, it works. Now I use the same tape to mask a few spots where I need to paint black. Gunmetal pigment I used to make the gun look better. The canopy was placed on the masking fluid, now I have removed it to work on the cockpit. Rest of the fluid has to be removed as well. And after unmasking the windshield I realized that I should have 
paint it yellow. So this still can be done but a little additional masking work is needed. White paper behind it helps to control the amount of the paint and I use Tamiya clear yellow. I don't want this model to be very dirty but some minor weathering I do with washes, oils and water pencils from AK. For this stage of the wash application I painted the whole model with matte varnish. Now I need to be careful as wash doesn't come off that easy from the matte surface. Walking surface decals are too dark, so I paint them with the lighter shades of grey. This thingy is an exhaust from the small support engine and I paint it with black and burnt metal colors. No sensors, as well as the two on the tail, I paint black. Sensors on the wingtips and on the tail I first paint grey and add metallic blue dots so they look more realistic. When they dry I add a drop of clear varnish to imitate the glass on the sensor. Tamiya clear green and red on the other wing make the wind tip light. Not sure why all of this is not mentioned in the instruction. All underwing ordinances, I dry fit first and later I put it in place on the CA glue. You may notice one pylon I left leave empty. Uh, this is part of the plan that will be continued in my next video, so please subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss it.
the left engine cover is sometimes dirty because of the exhaust beneath it. I am adding the exhaust dirt with the highly diluted black paint. Open canopy mechanism is easier to add with the ultra glue that does not dry as fast as the CA and gives a bit more time to adjust the parts. To imitate an air intake covers I use a blue tack that I cut into small pieces and paint after. Remove before flight steel set from Edward is quite handy to add more realism to the model. I connect all covers with the help of elastic rigging and CA glue. Based on the reference picture and using a spare part, I cut the shape of the additional cover that is used on this side of the aircraft. After painting it red, I add some usage marks with the dry brush. The pitot tube cover I make from the masking tape painted red. And here it is. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think of this build, thumb up if you like it, and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Model on guys, and see you next time, bye!